what is up guys Perkix here back in another video today I have an unboxing video as you can see by the title and probably you can see the box here uh, I am doing this video outside I know you guys like it I like it too uh, if you guys do any cars or anything of course just don't mind that I just can't control it anyway here's the box on the top it says a passion for the sea Sperry topsider with their logo in white pretty much the top lid is like a navy color Sperry I've got a tag over here I'll show you the real tag later um, there we go this side and then here's a tag it says the billfish tan and beige size 9 the little picture of the shoe there and then it was from Macy's I got these for $85 so in my opinion definitely a good price I think these shoes are comfortable they're nice they're durable obviously alright so when you lift up this lid here it comes all the way off inside you have paper with the Sperry logos all over it but then below that actually you also have regular paper Alright, so I just showed you guys some of those close-up images there um, to give you guys a kind of a good look at it. Anyway, I am going to start off with the upper. Uh, upper is listed as a hand-sewn true mock, is what it's called, the genuine hand-sewn true mock. And you see, that's that's pretty much Sperry for you right there. That's pretty much what the whole brand is. Is it's this weatherproof kind of material here, and um, just gets water and rain because it is a boat shoe. See, I've got a little bit of like scuffing a little bit there. But um, you see here, all around the toe box, it's pretty much all around the whole upper. We have white stitching here. You see, if you guys get a feel for that material there. So, if you guys don't ask bears, a lot of people do. This is actually my first pair. Um, then we have our mesh here on the outside it's for breathability. Of course, all around we have double stitching, which I do like. Alright, so here's the instep. We still have that same Chumak upper with the ventilation again. Here we do have uh, double stitching again, but um, we have a panel pretty much for where your lace is. And it, the laces don't only go on top, but they also go all around the shoe for kind of a, I guess, a better fit. But they run throughout the whole shoe through here, they come around the heel, and through the whole shoe. So that's also one of the main things from Sperry, what they're kind of known for, at least design wise. And then the heel here, we have a Sperry logo with the stitching to, con uh, to put together the kind of true mock kind of uh, upper and whatever other materials they used alright so I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the shoe uh, this one I took out the shoe tree kind of thing here but this one has it in as you guys can see props with the shoe it's pretty cool I think it needs it because it is that kind of um, leatherish material to keep it nice and good and then it's it's that regular one but then they also have this kind of pole here to prop it uh, I took the other one out I'm gonna show you here. here you guys all know what the other cardboard inserts look like but here's kind of the little pole here see I can't I can't really push that part back so it, it's kind of preset like that I don't know it's not it's definitely not metal but kind of maybe like paper inside or something it's all black but anyway as for the inside starting the heel we have our padding this is pretty much our, our whole padding apart from the outsole and midsole uh, for the insole wise um, you see you've got like a pink material coming out here with the padding stitched on is this kind of like leather, white leather, vanilla leather. And then in our heel, we have kind of like a crash pad kind of thing here. Um, I tried kind of removing it. It seems to be removable, but I didn't go any further because I kind of heard some glue coming off. So I guess it's not supposed to be removable. I don't have orthotics or anything, so I don't need to remove it. Uh, to me, it's fine how it is. Also, around the liner, we have this kind of, not suede, but kind of textured material. Maybe it is a suede, but maybe, I think it's actually the... Uh, inside layer of the true mock material uh, doesn't have any scuffing I, I wore them around the house as for now it doesn't have any kind of scuffing or anything on my you know back of my heel so that's good uh, past that little stitch line is it, it's like it's, it's pretty much just a midsole it's just a midsole pretty much back there after the padding so pretty much all your padding is in the heat alright so as for our midsole as you can see there's stitching across it uh, lots of stitching used on the shoe and I think it gives it a cool look uh, it's being listed as an EVA kind of foam. Uh, this is, is yeah, press it here. So the, it looks like the outer layer is kind of hard and durable. And I guess the actual foam is inside. I don't know if that pink material is the actual foam. It's pretty comfortable. But here's our midsole in this like kind of. Uh, I don't want to say like yellow because it's not yellow, but it's like this uh, creamy material, creamy color, to it, a little bit of like yellow to it. It's definitely not old or anything. That's just how it's supposed to look. 
and that actually midsole runs all throughout the shoe. All right, last but not least, we have the outsole. The outsole is in this kind of gum rubber, I guess you could say. If you guys can get a color look at that. In the back here, it's upside down, but it's a Sperry Top Sider. Um, and it's listed as a non-marking rubber outsole with wave sipping, and that's trademarked apparently for like the ultimate wet and dry conditioned uh, traction, which definitely is kind of true. It is a boat shoe, and I guess you would need that. As you can see, this said non-marking and then contour cis condor cis I'm sorry if I said that wrong. But here, if I push on these little parts right here, as you can see, so I guess that's like the foam maybe if I push there. Uh, pattern is not like too deep. But it is kind of got gum rubber material, so I guess that maybe adds a lot of traction. Here's like kind of like some kind of wavy herringbone, herringbone. Over here, like some sprinkles or something. We have a middle part here, and then three flex screws up here.